When we talk about motorcycles, Japan is known for producing the most reliable machines of all time. But in what concerns to the aesthetics, that is a different story. I think it's not because of a matter of taste. Because most Japanese motorcycles, are designed to be commercially successful around the world. And this raises a question. How beautiful can a custom motorcycle be, when built with passion by a Japanese? And the answer is, well, maybe it is better for you to judge it for yourself. Welcome to Racer TV. At this point, you are probably wondering, what style these lines belong to? And that is a very good question. We cannot classify it as a bobber, because the wheels and tires have the same size. It could be a cafe racer. But it is lacking a rear cowl. And to be sort of brat, the seat looks too short. But if you ask the builder what style this BMW is, he will say, a style, that has never existed. In other words, a Heave original. A sparkling design created by Kengo Kimura, founder of Heave Motorcycle, located in Hiroshima. I have always admired Japanese custom builds, for their very minimalist vision. Most of their works, seem to have very simple lines. But the level of refinement and quality, is just superb. And this one, is no exception. The project began with this BMW R75, and ended up this way. It may even look like a simple transformation, but in reality, it is way far from that. Most of the parts we see here, were hand-built. And when I say hand-built, not even the engine escapes this work. Everything was sanded by hand. And this leads us to a pertinent question. Is it worth to polish the engine block? Personally, I think in this particular BMW engine. Yes, it's worth it. Look how beautiful this engine became. These polished surfaces, may require some maintenance work to keep its shine. But it is definitely a beautiful thing to behold especially when it's very well integrated on the right spots. Notice how Mr. Kimura made everything look very well balanced. Not too much polished surfaces, nor too much dark areas. Although this metal flakes finish paint job is not my kind of thing, it doesn't bother me enough. Because all the rest, is spot on. I know there are a lot of people, who like to criticize these beautiful Firestone Deluxe Champion tires. And I understand this criticism. 
because the grip and profile of this rubber was not developed to make you smile on curves. So, here is my tip. The Shinko Super Classic E270 is probably the best vintage styled tire due to its decent quality rubber, having also a good rounded profile. The front suspension may seem factory original, but it came from an old Kawasaki, due to its very clean appearance. The battery is now located inside the engine block, where the airbox originally was. The fuel tank may also seem as an item from another motorcycle, but it was custom made. This project has a lot of tiny details, about which we cannot conceive the amount of time and patience required to be built. But with some photographs about other custom builds, we can have an idea, about the level of quality of Mr. Kimura work. I admire the way he embodies the vintage details on his motorcycles. It is the kind of work, that makes us think it is easy to build, although we know it isn't. And even if this is an unknown motorcycle style, I really don't care. Because beautiful motorcycles, don't need a style name to be admired. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.